Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the basement because I have gotten a new power supply that I was gonna do an unboxing on um, because I needed a new power supply and um, I got one from Banggood I paid for it so this is not sponsored yeah let's see what we got here this is the package it says mini leaf um, it's a rather boring package but it does say what this is this is a mini leaf NPS 600 and 5W DC power supply 300 watts and this will go from 0 to 60 volts and 5 amps 1.6 kilograms it's very light so they definitely did not put a transformer in here Let's unbox this this is a very cheap uh, power laboratory power supply uh, they leave a little uh, funny thing here yeah something I don't care and uh, comes with a power cord European and uh, they're very good at making sure that you get the right power cord when you order something from China actually uh, we get some some clips so that we can connect something to the power supply and we get the power supply in the box here and it's tiny there is also a manual user manual and it's in English which is always preferable when you get something from China it's a lot easier to get going when you can actually read some of it and let's unpack this not bad not Chinese are really good at, at packaging stuff minimalistic not too much junk and um, sometimes the products will take a little bit of damage but well seems okay it doesn't seem like it has, has any damage to it it's a very lightweight power supply as it does not have a transformer inside so kind of some kind of a switch mode I do believe that we have to take this apart and see what's inside so we might as well start with that it has the model number on the side here and the same thing 0 to 60 volts 5 amps so let's uh, let's screw it let's see what quality we are getting for our hard earned money so actually four screws on each side it's more than I was expecting don't know why they need that many but probably they they hold the whole thing together probably just gonna fall apart to all sides <laughs> that would be a mess there let's open that up okay no it's it's actually hmm, it does have a transformer or a some kind of a big aluminium plate here and a fan blower it's not a lot of stuff that they have put in here there are some SMD components there are some there are some chips sitting on that one that must be the ones that gets hot uh, I would I would guess that the, those could be some kind of MOSFETs uh, that would be that would be an estimated guess it does not look terrible it, it's not as if anything is just hanging out or sticking they have put a little bit of solder on this cable well, we can remove that for them there is a tiny little diode getting cooled down there but the power button cables it isn't the thickest cables they have put in here 5 amps mm, they could have been they could have been thicker yeah that they're actually not that great if we see them they go out here um, yeah 300 watts it they, it will be good enough guess we have to try and turn it on as well the power supply is back together it's actually um, you have to sit it here if you want to use it on 115 volts uh, it's right now set to 230 volts there you plug the power in here and it does have a fuse here uh, can we we want to see that we want to see what the fuse looks like 
there. So there's a tiny fuse there. And there's a fuse holder in there, so when you pop that in place, there's power to the device. Hmm, brilliant! Very nice. Otherwise, uh, we have some buttons on the front, on off, we, uh, we saw that. We have this display with some protective plastic that we will remove. But, um, let's put some power on this. On, off. So, I have some power leads over here. Oh, we could just take it over here. No, yeah. Mm. Okay, I put it on the little box as a display here. So we're gonna put it there. I'm gonna pop the, uh, the power in, touch the plastic. I uh, haven't turned it on yet, but nothing is smoking. I'm not getting electrocuted, which is also nice. There we are. Oh, it, it, I can see that it blinks on the display of the camera. It does not blink in real life. Um, so it must be the refresh rate that is ever so slightly. Oh, this is nice. It's a bit slow to alter the voltage down to zero. Okay, what is that one then? That's fine adjustment. Okay, so when you adjust that, do you get 100 milli? Hmm. Set that in the middle. Let's let's try and adjust it up to five volts. That's actually pretty hard to do. Okay, ah, five volts. Amperage, well, we have to, uh, and there's a fine for the amperage and the fine for the voltage, so that's cool. Let's go all the way up, see what voltage is. More than 60 volts, 61.6 volts. So how accurate are they actually? I don't have a very fancy multimeter, but this fluke is not that bad, so that's, that's actually pretty close, ever so slightly off. Let's turn it down to zero, and it's dropping, that takes a while. It's as if there's a capacitor in there that has to discharge. <laughs> and it's still dropping, and dropping, and still dropping. And we're down to about 200 milli volts, and we're still dropping. And then it went to zero here, but we're actually not at zero yet, but I guess it's close enough. Still drop. It's dropping very slowly now. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of you. Okay, still dropping, but very slowly. I think I'll move the power supply over on top of the other power supply and we'll try and use it for something. Okay, I'm building a power board here at home. So I have this battery here. It's a 48 volt battery ish as uh, it's lithium batteries and it's a 14 S 10 P. And if we measure the voltage, can we see that multimeter back there? We could move it forward. Improve the picture maybe. Maybe take off some of the dust. I guess that's okay. So let's see what the voltage is on that one. We have 51.5 volts coming out of that. So I have set the power supply to 52 volts. So I wanted to try and adjust that. I'm not sure if that is possible. Uh, 
I don't think I have a connection with those. <laughs> okay, I got a connection. Uh, but I had to go up in voltage. It's 56.5 volts here. I have turned the voltage all the way up and it's not charging with very much. Just, uh, just about one watt. Uh, so, yeah, it's not doing a whole lot. I don't think it's the power supply. I do believe that it's the battery bank. I think it's this BMS that is limiting it because of uh, unbalanced cells here. Some of the cells are a bit out of balance here. Some of them are at 4.15 volts and this one in particular is only at 3.6. So instead of charging the whole pack, I thought maybe we should try and charge those 10 cells. That's those 10 cells right here. But they only need about 4.1 volts. So we'll try and see if we can hit that instead. So I have connected the power supply down here. Multimeter is not connected to anything. But up here we can, can see that we are charging it. And it's even putting in 3 amps. Uh, 10 cells, that means that we are only charging them with uh, 300 milliamps. So it's, that's not a lot. So that's fine. 13 watts. I must say that these buttons up here, they're very touchy. I was trying to hit 4.1 volt, but you know, you touch it a little bit and you're six, seven volts. So that's, uh, that that could be better. It's not blinking as badly on the on the camera either. I don't know why that is now. Well, that's better. So right now I'm charging another cell actually. And it, it's pumping in 4.1 volts. And uh, this CV stands for constant voltage. That means that it's keeping the voltage at that level and then it's, uh, it, it's just pumping all the amps in there. If it reaches an amount where it cannot keep pumping in amps, it will switch over to constant current and then this will just be maximum and the voltage will go down and we, we can kind of emulate that if we turn down the amperage to some level that is lower than where we are, we will see at some point we switch over and then the voltage goes down instead. And if we go further down, the voltage will go even further down. There, it dropped another 100 millivolts. So, but we can go up again and it will switch over to constant voltage when the amps are high enough um I'll just give it a bit more so that is cool okay it has been a few days i've actually been using this power supply non-stop since i got it and uh, right now i'm charging up individual cells that are a little low on this battery just to um, well i kind of want to have it balanced out a little bit before i leave it to the bms because this does it very very slowly and it will take forever if it has to do it so uh, right now i'm charging this cell up and it's it has reached the 4.1 volts which the power supply is set to and uh, so now it's running continuous voltage instead of continuous current so it's holding the voltage and the amperage is the one that is varying so it, it goes up and down a little bit and when it has been there for a while it will go down to uh, uh, about half an amp or something like that and it can charge and it will charge there for quite a while but the power supply is doing really well i have also powered the entire bank from it and i did show you that i am um, i found that if i if i discharge it a little bit with this device that i made which is just some leds discharge it for 30 seconds or something um I can charge the entire bank up a little bit and um, yeah we could just try that so right now I have connected the power supply to the whole bank I have disconnected the the individual cell that I was uh, charging over here and I've set it to 57 volts and it's not drawing any amps whatsoever 
because some of the cells are at their maximum so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna disconnect this for a little bit put it over here we're gonna take the LEDs and discharge it uh, I do this a little bit of the time the LEDs they they um, they heat up really fast so there's a lot of light in that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten give it a break one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so yeah it should um, it should have taken just the top of those cells that are charged to the to the max so let's as soon as i can we see both let's see if i connect this there we can see that it that didn't take long oh that's too bad we should uh, limit the current a little bit i have uh, i have discharged it a little bit with the led and i have turned down the current so now it should let's see what happens what was that let's turn the current up there yeah Okay, the current was too low. So now it's charging with half an amp. Oh, 0 0.6 amps. And with 33.7 watts. And it's at 56.2 volts. So um, if I restrict it a little bit more, the lower I can go, the better really. I was thinking about 200 milliamps there cool so the problem that i'm running in in this scenario is that this bms it protects the battery bank so there's 14 cells of batteries here which the bms its job is to make sure that each of these battery banks are charged in the same amount and not too much and uh, try not to do it too little either when one of the banks reach 4.2 volts or thereabout, it will shut off the charging. So what I've done now is I've just taken the top of the one that had the most, and now I'm charging everything up. And by not doing that too fast, I'm able to put in more capacity. The trick is that if I charge it with too many amps, the voltage of the cells goes up too quickly, and it doesn't really get the amount of power in there. It just raises the voltage and then it cuts off because the voltage has reached where it has to be but it didn't really get the power in there and so the cells that are not doing as good as the other ones well they didn't get anything so it turns out it hasn't been a bad purchase the power supply actually does what it's supposed to do it's not as it, it's not as fine with the dials it's very hard well you you need a bit of touch to get it right because it's so little that you have to adjust it for it to do a whole lot and i have to get used to that and there is the the rough one and there's the fine one and yeah making that work really well it's, it takes a bit of practice but for a cheap power supply like this like this one is half the price of this one down there that i built myself when i was like 13 years old well it, it does a good job so um, yeah until further notice i recommend this power supply i think i might even leave a link in the description somewhere so um you could go check it out so yeah <laughs> thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye